Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, it was Ravish was previously yeah. playing that position one for them. So it, now, again, it goes back to uh, East. It obviously has a long history. The panel was talking about that uh, earlier on he, in the mid and the core role as well. So not necessarily that surprising in that aspect. But yeah, as far as this goes, a little bit surprising with what they've been running here in Division 2. Now, as we were seeing there, he just simply got caught. That was a good setup by Fart Studios going for the bottom bound to get off these big requiems this game, it feels like. Probably. It looks fairly difficult. And even if he does get it off, there's the chance that Rubik steals it. Top, we have a lot of brawling here, chasing down the Brewmaster. They're running pretty low, but a lot of sticky napalm stacks. Yeah, I think that should be enough. Satoshi going to suicide for this. He pretty much knew it at that point, but he did get the kill first. So you can certainly say worth it. He's going to get that regen and we'll teleport Number one. Auto attacks flying in. Ravage trying to keep it slowed enough, but it's not going to be enough. I know just simply walking away in the end. And now they're going for the turn kill on a Tusk. Rotation from Trant. Out goes the nature's grasp. Ravish. He's uh, trying to give it to OD, but going to have to take it on the tree. And meanwhile, top lane also quite the dive here. Going to be uh, a kill onto the Batrider again, and Rubik does go down in the end, so Batrider at least getting it. Good to see that for the sake of Fart Studios. But this opening, too, that really stood out to me for Fart Studios, even more than against other teams, is obviously they're very meta heroes uh, with the tree and the Rubik, but it's also two heroes that are really good as this. I'm watching this tree, by the way. <laughs> He's almost soloing the Disruptor. At yeah, least tanky enough. Just he can just get one more punch here. Actually, not even going to be needed wow. as the nuke comes in from the Legion. Gets level six and has the duel available now. East wants He's this kill. He, he wants. Just got mana. He wants revenge. Oh, there's the duel going off, and now Sonic assisting for the victory. No, not going to be the victory, but yeah, they will worth. get the kill. He had Absolutely. to duel there just to save the tree, and so it was a good use of the duel, even though it was early to get the damage. Well played by uh, by Fart SJ there. They're the number one picked up hero for. Um, for Penguin Squad in this tournament, so yeah, I, I just I, would, I saw that in the opening. I was like, oh yeah, they they, they know what they're doing with, with this draft. But yeah, two strong heroes to go with, and make some plays early on as you'd expect. I annihilate. He's in trouble though. This time I don't think he's getting out. Trent is somewhat there, but with both Tusk and Disruptor, there's no getting away. That's the danger of just using your ability. Top, meanwhile, dive onto Monkeys Forever, who's so close to level six but doesn't have it. Not going to be able to fade or uh, split, but he does get to under tower. Fade oh, wow. along with a tower hit, and he stays alive, gets an urn charge for himself. And he is uh, <laughs> going with having trouble seeing straight burn, similar to Invoker with uh, Cold Snap and Urn combo. Rubik checking this out. He's going to run into Disruptor. He actually steals the, uh, the strike there. That Thunder Strike Kinetic Field put down by Crawler. Crawler's like, wait a second, that's my ability. You're going to kill me with it. Oh, no. And meanwhile, yeah, Ravish getting called out as well. He's got Snowball to the Ancients, but still dead, I think. Well, Shard's helping him out, but with Rubik running in, we're trying to let OD even get the last hit, and I Annihilate will do exactly that. So, yeah, both supports going down on the side of Penguin Squad. The movement's really commenced here for Fart Studios. Again, trying to run in, but... Not Actually, the Legion getting living armor uh, from Treant there makes it impossible for him to die almost. The, the OD now coming in with the ulti as oh, well, no. that's going to be a duel. And that's a kill, right? Oh, spin oh. might make it difficult, so no victory, and he is still going to die by Fart SJ. And it's a lot of return damage. Snow showing up as well, and they end up taking him out. Satoshi going down at, at the top lane. Meanwhile, though, while that's happening, so I was going to say with, with LC, uh, technically playing more of the position one in the hands of BSJ, what uh, what can we see on him with the fill? But, well, top lane, good time to think about that more, because Snowball going to be used by Ravish as he's trying to escape the Walrus Punch, but just delaying the inevitable feels like Glimps back as a duel comes out. He is going to finally get a victory, though, on BSJ. Meanwhile, the back line, Sonic is in. Regrowth was popped, and they take out Disruptor as well. East continues to run. He has Omni Slash. The nuke's coming out from Rubik oh, with that stolen Shadow Rays. And they are absolutely hunting. Going to force out an Omni Slash defensively right here. But as soon as he comes back down, I'm sure he's, well, oh, maybe he not dead. The spin as well. He is fine. Oh. oh. <laughs> no way. Oh, just misses. He's still going. He wants he to kill the primal. The monkeys wants this oh kill so badly. He really wants this kill. Meanwhile, Snow in the back lines getting two kills. Finally, Juggernaut. Yes, Juggernaut is going to go down with the commitment of monkeys. But here comes Shadowfee now. <laughs> now he's in a pretty bad spot on the brewmaster here, monkeys. What have you done? 
Not worth. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. Not worth at all. Satoshi is getting low too, but no. Monkeys will fall first, and yes, no, absolutely bonkers there with all that fighting. Mon monkeys will be the first to justify this time saying completely worth. Four people rotated just to kill him after he kills the carry. You know, five people <laughs> attention. Completely worth ulti. If he wasn't the number one most farmed player on the field, I would, you know, probably agree with him as well. But he did die as, you know, top farmer here on the Brewmaster. And a lot of bounty runes going the way of snow here. Yeah, and after all those kills too, how about Shadow Fiend's farm? And there's a Requiem. He's able to cast it from a distance. Gonna fear back and do some damage to the LC, who's trying to survive this whole time. Static Storm down, and nope, the... Rays will finish the job. So Elsie going down, but Odie is like, all right, I'm gonna take you out with the Sandy Days Eclipse. That was just a tusk though. That's a really long cooldown to do so. Sonic, double kill for Snow coming out. This Shadow Fiend is just really popping off now. Yeah, Snow is having a fantastic game. He is gonna have to run here to get out and Rubik is in pursuit. Annihilate takes out E, so Snow, he oh, knows he's, he's a down. valuable target and he is in trouble. They're absolutely gonna dive him now. He says, I gotta fight this. Turns around with the race spam, but OD gonna look the other way as he puts him under for the kill. Six kill streak stopper. Look at that gold going the way of Annihilate. Cool guys don't look at explosions right there. Imprison him and just yeah. walk away. Yeah, you're done. You know what, bottom? <laughs> gonna be lifted up those Batrider. Now Batrider's in trouble. Yeah, look, look at, at this. this. Duel. Yep. Oh, he doesn't no! Couldn't get it off in time, being pushed around. He's lassoed up on top of the cliff, though. Very awkward for Farnas Day. How do you get out of this one? Snowball going to be used in as well. Ravish going to Odie. Puts him under, though. Save his teammate. Now there's a duel. He just gave him a dual target. That's all he did right there on the Tusk. However, they, they will tree it. Coming in. Shadow Beam. Yeah, throw it up, and Rubik's like, Lasso's mine. <laughs> will help secure the kill in Snow. Yeah, Lasso's way better for the Dire team. Yeah, it works out really nicely there. He is going to trade it away as far as Jay gets off the high ground here. A little bl uh, force that from his Rubik. Can uh, blink away and keep far. Right, you kind of just have to let it happen. <laughs> They're going to pop fortification, but not much else. It's a low commitment. How is it a 20 second cooldown spell? He just keeps spawning more and more pandas. <laughs> Don't you just love it when, it when a player plays an out of meta hero like this and you kind of think, see things like, you're like, what the hell? This is OP. Like, uh, oh, he's killed, by the way. Tried to get out, but the overgrowth kept him in place. And then another dual kill as well. This deep vision providing nice catch for Far SJ. Catching Crawler again. Oh, and they get the Aegis uh, for that OD, and they are immediately smoked up looking for. Yeah, they want something. the duel. They, they want more, and they see someone, Juggernauts. There you go. Is it a kill? Is it a victory? Support? No, it's not, because Snowball is there. Spin from Rubik this whole time, by the way. They kill LC in response as the Omni Slash doing some work, but OD lays down the hammer and finally makes a kill happen. Batrider locking down OD. The OD's eight is going to be burned. He's on the uphill. He's got a four staff, though, although it's on cooldown. So, nice. Requiem fear. used as he comes back up. Yeah, and I, I just have to fight this. He's going to take out <laughs> Batrider, and then he puts himself under. So he gets a triple kill throughout all this. Now, oh, Shadowfiend's turn. Can Shadowfiend win this duel? No, he cannot. Or, yes, he can, I suppose, but he gets super low in the process. Yeah, that was a buyback used by BSJ coming in here as well, looking for a duel. Brewmaster is going to pipe next, though, so that'll be a nice mitigation in these fights. Yeah, already having so much magic resistance as well, but top lane, we see an attempt to kill the tree and protector, ulti used. Yeah, and this is. It, <laughs> I mean, they might get the kill. He's going to overgrow it, though. Sonic does end up falling, but obviously it's going to come at a cost, maybe? The TPF for Satoshi. It Ooh. is going to be successful. Wow. That was at the very last second. That BKP keeping him alive. It's scary when you're almost dying to an OD right clicking you without Arcane Orb, right? It's through BKP. Yeah. Just to uh, initiate. Well, I also like what Far Studios just so how like has a heads up they have. They actually scanned behind them right there just in case a flank of some sorts was being set up. But that's not the case as we see. But obviously they don't know that. Okay, well, there you go. Press the attack immediately comes out as the lasso hits. There's the BKB. There is no axe on Disruptor. And buyback's going to be used by the Tusk. He's already using the Omni Slash trying to kill that tree. But tree is going to get out. And East does fall. I annihilate on that killing spree. Yeah, they try to quickly get the, the last reading now. Brewmaster, though, a little bit caught out. 
Yeah, he doesn't have his split yet. He has 12 more seconds on it. He's got a so pipe. He's got though. guarding greaves, though. He is so dicky. Great overgrowth from Sonic. The Requiem from Nusham going off, doing so much damage on the Shadow Fiend and everyone else. The fear effect as well is huge. And here's the primal split for Brewmaster. So even without BOD, they still have plenty of resources to fight. And Tusk is also going to die to the dual victory of BSJ. And now Ease has his chance to TP out with a spin, which will actually be successful this time, but now we see a one fight for Far Studios. That yeah, was a good burst initially there where they used the Requiem and uh, also went in with... Oh, that's... Uh, again, Far Studios doesn't want to throw this necessarily. As I say that, they are going to go in I Annihilate. Jumping in, Lotus Orb going to be applied. He's spinning up. Gets assistance from Rabish, who is going to get a nice snowball off, actually. But that press the attack, and that attack speed is absurd of OD. The root. The hit east, oh, but oh, he on his slash, battle. but the Lotus Reflect. That's always awkward. Requiem going to be activated. However, Shadow Fiend thrown up right after. Is going to manage to blink out. Satoshi running with the BKB. So with no press the attack, it's going to be a good lasso. However, the damage wasn't really there initially, at least. I know they putting himself on there as he kills Bat Rider. Snow popping his own BKB, but with no Requiem, he kind of just stands there the waiting for OD. Oh, maybe. Blink away. Get out. The Lotus applied. He's still alive some way, somehow. He's still alive. Turns around with the hammer. And that should do it. GG, well played. It's official. Fart Studios is going to be in Season 2 of Division 2. Yeah, they stay safe with this guaranteed, so they will move on to, to play in the winners here out of the next series uh, to decide who's going to get that, that top placement out of them. And... Uh...